Life is a journey full of adventures. German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer says, The happy events of life are like green and palm trees that we watch from afar. They look very beautiful. But as soon as we get close to them and we go inside them, their beauty also disappears. At this time, you cannot understand where the beauty has gone. What you see will be a few trees and that's it. This quote by Schopenhauer reminds me of Charlie Chaplin's word. Life is a tragedy when seen in close-up, but a comedy in long shot. Schopenhauer said that we which are makes us happier than what we have. But what to do? We must have to realize our existence. Schopenhauer said if we want something, not because we have found a reason for it, but because we want it, we will find a reason for it. Hello everyone, my name is Titi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For a better understanding of Schopenhauer's thoughts, we must go to Erwin Yalem's book, The Schopenhauer Cure. The book of The Schopenhauer Cure, it's a very impressive book. Every breath we take, death that keeps attacking us, we reject. Ultimately, it's death that must be conquered because it became a part of our destiny when we were born and that's all he plays with his prey shortly before swallowing it it may seem a little pessimistic but these are the facts of life however as much as possible we continue to live with great interest and concern as long as possible we blow in a bubble to make it bigger although we know with complete certainty that it will be explode. Life is a pitiful thing. I have decided to spend the rest of my life thinking about it. Schopenhauer also realized the importance of thinking in human life. And that's why he said, we rarely think about what we have, while we constantly think about what we don't have. Thinking is as difficult for a weak mind as lifting a heavy load for a weak arm. Both want to get rid of it quickly. Life is not for enjoyment, rather it's to spend and leave behind. Now, this is Erwin Yalom, American psychoanalyst in the book The Schopenhauer Cure, said, The best wisdom is to make enjoying the present time the highest goal of life. Because this is the only reality that exists and the rest is nothing but mind games. But this can also be called the biggest stupidity because that's only for a moment and then it disappears like a dream. It's never worth the effort. Seeing the first sense of human suffering and pain had a deep impact on Schopenhauer's life and works. As he wrote about his trip years later, at the age of 17, without having learned anything from the teaching of the school, he attracted the misery and sorrow of my life. Just like a young Buddhist, when he saw sickness, old age, pain, and death. All experiences help us to become what we really are. Schopenhauer's sentences are as if it's not written for normal people. Of course, we have to see who the normal people are. I have not written for the public. I have left my works for thinkers, who will be rare expansions throughout story. They will have the same feeling as me or like a shipwright on a shipwreck on a desert island. The footprints of a suffering friend who stepped on the island before them. Above all parrots and monkeys on the branches of the tree. It will be their constellation. According to Schopenhauer, happiness comes from three sources. What you are, what you have, what you show in the eyes of people. Of course, Schopenhauer insists that we focus only on the first option. What you are. And let's not invest in the second and third and on our image. Because we have no control over them. Because they are taken from us. Just like the inevitable old age that's taking your beauty away from you. In fact, Schopenhauer considers what you are to be determined but 
what you have. Schopenhauer said, having a reverse, what we have often becomes our owner. I just now understand what Schopenhauer meant. What we are makes us much happier, as much as we have. Thank you for being with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe channel. Take care, all of your moments.